Hey guys, it's Brooke here and this is one of my first um, videos where I'm in front of the camera in a few weeks. So I'm sorry about that guys. I've been very, very busy um, with my spiritual work and my art and trying to find another job. So I apologize for that. But this Sunday, I usually do my videos on Sundays because Sunday is a day of prayer for me. And I like to share a few things with everybody for this Sunday. Now, a lot of people have been messaging me, asking me questions. Um, they've been asking me a lot of spiritual questions. They've been asking me a lot of metaphysical questions. They've been asking me a, a lot of questions about demons and dark forces and things happening to them at night. So I'm gonna address a few things today in this video. And I wrote some things down I wanna talk about. I'm going to try to get through everything as best as I can, but I do need to do more in-depth videos with each subject matter. I just don't want to half-ass it and rush, you know. I just want to answer some general questions about some spiritual things going on with people and, and um, you know, just general life assistance and tips for surviving certain situations. So, okay, before I start, I would like to do a prayer that I wrote a few weeks ago. And by the way, um, I'm burning my candles. I already burned sage and stuff. I had to do it quickly because the sage smoke bothers someone else in the house. So I don't want to cause an inconvenience. But I always burn sage because it provides protection. It clears the air of negative energy or any psychic attacks. So I did. You could get sage at your grocery store. You could order white sage online. I usually go get it when I'm at the grocery store because it's convenient. But if I really want that powerful sage, I'll order it online um, and make sure that the burning is not affecting because you don't want other people in the house or wherever you're living to um, be affected by that. So you just do it discreetly, you know, clear out the demons or whatever, clear out the negative energy. And I just lit my three candles. The first candle is a SAR. I'm going to be getting some more candles. Um, in the future when I go back to the um, at my temple they sell them but they sell them at metaphysical shops too I got the African ones because I have African ancestry so that's more in sync with um, what I'm doing and who I am so that will bring out more power powerful energy in me whatever race you are nationality you know you could tap into that you know tap into what your ancestors used to do and the type of magic that they used to practice to help you um, carry on in your life to help you manifest things or pray to protect yourself against things or try to change your life for the better okay so I got a SAR regeneration and stillness and knowledge of self that candle burning the candle is black I don't want to hold it up because the candles have been going out for some reason so I got Satesh mastering opposition thinking outside of the box this is a red candle this candle is for people who if you feel like you're being attacked psychically by something or a lot of challenges are going on in your life, like a job or a relationship or whatever, this is a great candle to, to, to burn because these ancestors and these spirits help protect you from challenges or not really protect you, but just help you overcome them because we can't avoid all challenges. Some challenges are put in our life because we have to go through that. But this candle will help us master the opposition, master the um, opposing forces that are coming towards us. And the raw candle, not Amon Ray, that's something different. We're going to talk about that later. Um, the raw energy, the Christ energy within us, regeneration, purification, and power, your inner power, your inner strength. Okay. So these are the three candles I'm lighting today. I burned some sage and I'm going to say a prayer. For everybody, I know everyone's going through some attacks, um, some mental attacks, some psych psychic attacks, some spiritual attacks, some emotional attacks on the internet for coming out with truth and walking in truth. When you walk in truth, you are susceptible to being attacked by the Matrix because the Matrix does not like truth. The Matrix likes illusions and anybody who stands out from that, they have a beaming light of potential to come into consciousness so when the matrix sees this they send people places and things after those types of people to kind of screw you up a little bit or throw you off your course because they don't want you finding out the truth so i wrote this prayer for this just give me one second here 
Okay, so this is going to be my opening prayer. Everybody, if you want to meditate along with me or breathe or just get into a really peaceful space, you can do that. If you're really stressed out, I know there's a lot of people stressed out. I've been going through stress. I've been having trouble sleeping. As you guys know, I have insomnia and I'm going to try to go to the doctor to try to get a recommendation for medical marijuana. If that doesn't work out, then I'll find other ways to get the help that I need because my ancestors are telling me, use natural herbs to help you with what you're going through because most likely what I'm going through is a mental problem, a mental and emotional issue. And along with taking things to help your body hold the spirit, you also have to do the work. There's some things in my emotions and in my mind that I have to work on and actually take steps forward to deal with that. You know, when you take marijuana or you take herbs, they're not going to cure you. They're just going to help you while you get through that hard time. Okay. And they do heal you in some aspects like anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal. Like they do help your body. But at the end of the day, you can't depend on anything. You have to do the work. The plants are here to help us. The plants are like Morpheus and our soul is operating through our body. And all this nature that's around us is here to assist us, but we still have to do the work to eat right, sleep right, go to the gym and all that stuff and stay stay away from shitty people. If you don't do those things and walk in truth, then sickness will happen. That's what I learned at my temple today, which was a really good lecture. Now let me just get to this prayer. <clears throat> and I'm sorry if my voice is fading in and out. I should have put some water. I should have got some water. Okay, don't worry about it. I'm going to be okay. <laughs> if my voice goes out I'll just quickly reach over for some water okay in a world of illusion deception dreams mirrors and evil I pray to the most high for truth clarity understanding guidance balance and healing to put me in alignment with my destiny I ask the ancestral garden guardian angels for protection against the forces of evil and those with ill intent hidden agendas control freaks master manipulators programmers of the matrix in all realities with mental spiritual and physical limitations i pray to the most high to give light to those who are lost in the shadows of deception bring healing to those who are suffering and truth to those who seek knowledge I give thanks to the luminaries who give us hope, warmth, and energy, guiding us through the depths of space into higher consciousness. The planets to nurse growing souls into ascension, until ascension. The moonlight as our path to the world of imagination and internal reflection, which is the dream world, which is the internal dream state. Fire for passion and spirit. Water for birth, holding life, heart, and emotions. Air for momentum and change and movement. Plasma for soul. Earth as a training grounds and development of the soul. May no evil demons, entities, opposing forces exist in my fields of my mind, body, and soul, only balance and walking in truth. All right, guys. So let's get to it. I'm going to be discussing some things today that I've been talking to a lot of people in the apocalypse chats, a lot of great intelligent people who really want to know truth. You see, in my life, I have not been around a lot of people like that until I actually started walking my path. Sometimes when you're not true to yourself, your life will reflect externally what's going on internally. So when I was younger, I couldn't understand why I was around the wrong types of people. I wasn't around people that were good for me in my journey. Sometimes I was hanging around people who all they cared about was getting laid. All they cared about was getting high or getting fucked up on the weekend and stuff like that. But then in my early 20s, I met some really great people when I started walking my path. I had a lot of great friends. I just saw them recently at a viewing I have a dear friend that that transitioned soulfully. He's in the spirit realm. He told me he's doing he's he told me he's doing okay. He's getting adjusted to the spirit realm. So I have conversations with him, and I did his tarot. Um, he's doing fine. He's just trying to 
learn to let go of the physical reality but still be present enough to help his his child and his and his fiance so um that's good for him but i wanted to discuss some things because i know a lot of us truthers are going through a lot youtube pages are getting shut down some of my favorite people got shut down kaninigan was a great channel he spoke about reptilians and aliens he focused on the alien agenda um, Black Child got shut down, but he has almost 100,000 subscribers again because he was so, such a good truther, you know. Um, his page is back up. He's re-uploading his material. He deals with the dark occultists and the Illuminati, MK Ultra, um, and things like of that nature. Um, I know a guy named Anti School got shut down. I really didn't follow him because I didn't really, to be honest, I didn't know who he was, but I checked out some of his work and I like it. But a lot of people are getting silenced on YouTube. Truth Never Sleeps got shut down. I've, he's a Christian and I'm not a Christian. You know, um, I practice comedic spirituality and I'm just a spiritual woman. But I still appreciate the work that he does because I know his heart is in the right place. You know, even though I don't believe in your religion, I agree with your fight. You know, and his page got shut down and he had 80,000 subscribers and I know he's in pain. So I pray for him. <clears throat> Pac lives, you know, I know that they're watching his channel because he's doing a lot of work for the truth community, dealing with the cloning center, um, the cloning centers and the um, the extraterrestrials and things of that nature he's discussing in his videos. And um, Donald Marshall and Phil Chupa and a lot of people in the, who are prominent in this movement have been coming to his chats. And a lot of intelligent people, minus the trolls, because sometimes some trolls come in with some craziness, you know, but a lot of intelligent people are in his chats and we're talking about real deal shit and I'm so happy to be a part of this movement because for my entire life, I always wanted to do something righteous in my life. I wanted to do the right thing. I knew something was wrong with life my whole entire life and they talk about that in The Matrix, you know. Those people who just don't feel like right in their entire life they feel different my whole life i felt like an alien and when i did my research i am an alien and i do have alien dna and it's very interesting when you look into the truth the gems that you find you know it could be quite scary at times that you know that wow i'm digging into this truth i'm finding out some really screwed up things are going on but you also find some very beautiful things um there's a lot of light beings and a lot of ancestors and a lot of guardians helping people in the truth movement because they know that we're under surveillance because we're trying to get to the bottom of things and we're not just sitting here accepting the reality for what it is because the reality is far from what it should be but anyway let's get to these topics here i'm praying for everyone who's fighting for the truth whose page got shut down who's under surveillance by the government who has helicopters flying over the house their house i know i have had a helicopter or two flying around all week at three in the morning. I've heard strange sounds and weird things have been happening to me ever since I've been speaking to Donald Marshall in the chat. And um, I've been, they, they can look at my Google history. I'm pretty sure the government has all my information, all my private texts. They, they don't, they know everything about you. So even your dirty little text message you send to your girlfriend or whatever, your boyfriend, they have all that shit. So I'm not afraid of anything. I know I'm not a perfect person. You know, the government has all my information. They're going to be tracking me. They're going to be sending weird ass people in my life. Like I was in the park the other day and I ran to this gentleman. I was taking pictures. He was talking to me about chemtrails and all this stuff. And it was, it was odd because I'm like, that never happens to me. Nobody just comes up to me at random and starts talking to me about truth. It's like, all right, you know, and he had military regalia on. I'm like, Something's not right with this. Like, I could see that if this brother's genuine and I'm being paranoid, but you always got to be careful when you're into the truth movement and, and doing these types of things because they will send people in your life to screw you up and you have to pray every day for protection and clarity um, so that you don't get caught up like that. But let me just get to the topics here. I don't want to go over um, 30 minutes. Health issues, depression, insomnia, anxiety, and mental problems. Now, <clears throat> lately I've been going through this stuff. I did a cleanse. Um, I did a body cleanse last week where I didn't eat anything but fruit and vegetables and water. No cheese, no sugar, no nothing for an entire week. 
and I've learned a lot. I've learned that my allergies were cured for the first fucking time in my life because I realized it is what I'm eating. The doctor told me it has nothing to do with what I'm eating, just take the allergy medicine. My whole life I've been suffering with relentless pain right here in my nose, all right, from sinus and allergy. I just ate fruits, literally fruits and vegetables for one week straight. And it is a little hard because I got a little weak. You want to make sure you're not doing too much physical activity and all that stuff. I'm just blessed because I have time, you know, to do these things. But I've learned a lot of the stuff I'm eating is causing allergies. A lot of stuff you eat can give you anxiety, like too much sugar and salt. Salt is linked to anger. Sugar is linked to a feeling of love. That's why folks get addicted to sugar. Because when you are depleted of love, see, everything's emotional. Everything you eat is energy. It's emotional. Okay? So when you feel like shit, you eat like shit. Right? It resonates with one another. So when I realized for the first time I ate sugar after seven days, I felt high as if I smoked a cigarette. That's when I put two and two together. I know a, a, a famous um, spiritual man said that all cigarettes are is just sugar and a bunch of manipulated chemicals. And then I realized that after my cleanse that sugar is just as addictive as nicotine cigarettes. And they're putting it in the junk food and in certain candies and things like that. So a lot of people go through these things, depression, insomnia, anxiety, mental problems. It's what you're putting in your body. You have to be careful. All this pizza and junk food and all this crap is can make you insane. And then the doctor's going to tell you, don't stop what you're eating. And then the doctor has the nerve to tell me, don't eat too many fruits and vegetables. Like, what? No, no, no. When I took vitamins, black sea oil, Irish moss, and it was another one, I can't remember. But I took these, you could just take natural oils, natural plant oils or vitamins and stuff. Water, fruit, and vegetables. Try it for a week. I've noticed such a difference, like my mucus wasn't stuffy in my nose. Um, I wasn't having so much craziness in my head. So pay attention to your diet. I want to move on. Sometimes if you don't know what's really going on with you, start with the basic stuff. How is your sleep? My sleep's been shit. How's your diet? My diet's not that bad, but it's not great either. Because I noticed that I had an addiction to junk food. After that week, as soon as the week was over, I just stuffed my face with popcorn and Cheetos and, you know, on some some bullshit. Then I realized I have a serious problem. If I'm not smoking cigarettes, I'm stuffing my face with junk food. If I'm not stuffing my face with junk food, I'm binging on information. Like, it's, it's an addiction. A lot of people have an addictive personality and don't even know it. I have an addictive personality. There are aspects of me that just want more, 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 more. Even with the truth movement, I just crave for knowledge, which is a good thing, but it could also be a bad thing because you could crave for knowledge so much that you don't take the time to learn things. You just want, want, want more, more, more. You can't always just learn things. You have to experience them too because experience is sometimes a better teacher than reading books. Reading books is the practical understanding of something, but to experience it, go through it emotionally, um, it's it's... One thing to read about holding a fork, and it's another thing to actually hold one. It feels like this, it tastes like this, it smells like this, it's this weight. You know, you can't read about everything. You actually gotta get up and experience stuff. Let's get to the next thing. I'm already at 18 minutes, holy shit. Um, alien races and connection to human beings, spiritual protection. Now guys, I've been saying this in the chat, we all have protection. If we do the right thing in our lives and we pray, we do have protection. Don't ever feel like you're alone. And if you feel like you're alone, call somebody. Email. My email is brookthorn one at gmail.com. If you have any experiences getting attacked by aliens or demons or dark forces or something's going on with your, with your mind at night, we could talk about it. Because I've been going through that my whole life. Um, if you feel like you're at a cloning center, because I know Donald talked about that, that they staged the alien abductions. Who knows, some of those alien ducts might actually be real, you don't know. Or if there's an ancestor that just wants to say hi to you at nighttime and you're scared because we don't understand, we could talk about that, just send me an email. You're never alone. One of my biggest problems in my life was I was just like Vegeta. If you guys watch Dragon Ball Z, I, would, I am like Vegeta. 
I have too much pride, I'm angry, and I just don't understand why I'm not better than Goku or better than whatever I'm thinking about. Why am I not better than this person? Why don't I, why can I overcome this? Why can't I master that? You see, this is, it all comes back down to discipline, all right? A lot of people have that mentality of, I want to be the best, I want to be the this, I want to, but you got to learn, because to be honest, we're all still students in this planet. And some people just want to go, 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 but they don't want to learn. And I'm one of those people. So one of the best things to do to enhance your energy is look inside of yourself and see what am I doing wrong? What are the dark parts of myself? We all have demons. I was reading this book called Angels and Demons. And I'll post it below because I forgot the author. My memory is terrible, by the way, because I haven't slept in a minute. So sorry. Angels and Demons. And it was the way the magician utilizes the demons in ritual. Now, hold on. Before you guys say, whoa, this bitch crazy summoning demons. Hold on a second. In this book, it said, no, you're not summoning demons, really. But everyone has inner demons or inner darkness. What you want to do is you want to first get your guardian angels by your side for protection and guidance. You want to learn how to maneuver your demons. What do I mean by that? You can't eliminate parts of yourself. You can only change, okay? So if I have a darkness, for example, one of my demons is I'm very competitive at times, which is bad because I get my ass kicked and I just be like, how in the world could I get my ass kicked by this? You know, I would question myself. Okay, I have a competitive nature. How can I take that energy and turn it into a positive? Well, instead of being competitive, why don't I be determined? Why don't I be, you know, work hard? Put that energy and that anger into working harder. You see what I'm saying? So just taking that dark energy and turning it, turning it into something positive and letting it work for you. That's how you, um, you, you learn how to work with your inner darkness. Because we all have darkness. That's why we're on earth. And that's, you know... Okay, let's move on to the next section. Spells against the dark occultists. Now, guys, I've been telling you since the chat. These people are sending some serious dark magic at us. I felt the energy. They're doing craziness to us. And what do you do about dark occultists' spiritual attacks? Well, the key thing you want to do is raise your vibration you have to if you have demons figure them out fast don't waste any time if you have unresolved conflicts unfinished business you didn't say such and such to such and such and you have a grudge forever against them you have to work all that out because if you don't you're not going to have a chance against these people you have to be right and you have to be in balance it takes time though you're not going to get it overnight you have to raise your vibration if you want more information about that, send me an email. I'm not going to go too deep into it because you got to, you know, hit me up for some spiritual consult consultation and also I'm running out of time on my video because I don't feel like editing. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just tired. I just, I need to get to sleep, but I'm just going to get through this here. Targeted individuals. Now, there's a lot of people in these truther movements who are being attacked by the government, whether they're using ELF waves or they're hacking into your... Your accounts. I remember one day all my passwords for my bank account and my Facebook and everything wasn't even right for some reason. See, they nothing's nothing's hidden anymore. Okay, all of your business, all of your text messages, all your information is out there. So they're going through that. Be aware of that. Okay, all your phones, all the smartphones, every phone has tracking in it. All right. There is no privacy anymore. That's why you have to walk in truth and do the right thing. Do you have to be perfect? No. Is there a privacy? Yeah, you can have a little privacy, but you have to really work hard to have your privacy. The government's attacking us every day. They know people are waking up. They know people are tired. They know people are sick and tired of the same old bullshit. The Matrix is not working anymore. So they're putting more dark spells, more bullshit on TV and all this stuff. To keep us locked in deeper. Oh, you guys um, 
or getting into the truth movement, okay, we're going to put some control opposition out there to control the truth or population. They do that too. They'll do anything it takes to keep this shit going, all right? They, people get killed, you know? I Sometimes I think to myself, man, they're probably going to take me out eventually. They're probably going to take me out or take people out I know who are really fighting for truth. And I don't even care because, I mean... What's the point of living if you can't have freedom and peace and, and, and do the right thing? What's the point? What's the point of living in a physical body when you don't do the work of your ancestors? Ancestors, Did you know that your ancestors died and bled and fought for your life? What am I doing with my life? Just bullshitting around? No, we have to do this work. And if you don't do this work, there are consequences. consequences. There are karmic consequences. You feel bad inside. Why I feel so bad? Think about your parents. Like, now we all don't have great parents, but think about what the people in the past have done for you to be here right now and what they went through. That they went through far worse than you have. You know, the best thing you could, the best give, gift you could give back to those people is not really money. You can never repay your, your parents. There's no dollar amount. That's not what it's about. It's about doing the work doing the right thing and being the best person you can be. It doesn't matter what your past was. In the past, I was an insane, psycho, crazy, didn't know what the fuck to do person, okay? I had the consciousness. I had the ability. I had the magical ability. I had the psychic ability. But I just didn't, you know, I was just upset. I was just angry at the world. My, they took my brother away. That pissed me off. But he told me he was okay after he died he came to me and he told me he was okay so but it still made me upset because i miss playing video games with him i miss chilling with him i miss going to six flags with him i was so angry i fucking hated everything i really did and i became a dark person i almost got close to being evil close but i knew for a fact that that wasn't who i was circumstances made me that way that's not who i am so it took a long time to finally Get my ass kicked by life so bad to the point I had to realize, okay, I need to get back on track. Because if you're not on the right path, you're going to get your ass kicked until you get on get on the right path. That's just the reality. It happened to me, especially if you have the ability. A lot of people on this planet have psychic ability. They're indigo children. They're crystal children. They Some people are genetically related to Andromedans. And Syrians and all these people from different star systems, a lot of people have the God energy in them, but they're running around with some doing some bullshit. I mean, when you're young, that's acceptable, but when you get to a certain age, you got to do the right thing and take responsibility for your life. You can't be a baby forever. You just can't. And trust me, I was a big fucking baby. I was a big fucking baby. I was whining and crying when shit got a little hard in my life. And I'm like, listen, you create your own reality under certain circumstances. Can we control the whole matrix? No, we can't. And as a black woman, there are certain conditions that I have to deal with in this world. And that is true. There's conditions for everybody. But I could do the best I can do in my own little space to control my own little world, okay? Another thing I wanted to talk about was not going through it alone. My biggest problem is, like I said, I'm like Vegeta. I tried to do everything by myself, had too much pride because that was because I was a loner most of my life and I grew up with my grandparents. So I already had the abandonment issues and all that shit. So I said, I could do this shit by myself. I don't need nobody. Right. That was my philosophy my whole life. And yes, I got very far on my own, but I'm so prideful and angry. I won't let folks help me. I'm like, okay, I got to stop this shit. I got to let people help me. So I did. And sometimes you have to let your pride down and let folks help you because you can block your own blessings. I remember a spiritual priestess told me this. You can block your own blessings because you're too damn prideful and you don't want anyone's help. Maybe God puts people in your life that you need. A friend, someone to talk to. Don't think whatever you want to talk to is too weird and strange. If you don't, If you can't talk to anyone about aliens or cloning center or spiritual warfare you could send me an email because i've been through this shit for over 10 years and i could tell you a lot and i could learn a lot from people too i've learned a lot from the people in the chat i've learned a lot from people who are in the spiritual community all right 
So guys, the time's running out, unfortunately. Um, but I hope that helped you guys. Um, if you want to talk deeper or get more into metaphysics and, and alien abduction and the different alien races on the planet, just send me an email. I know that a lot of people talk about the greys, the reptilians, the real Arturians, um, Syrians, or some people with Syrian DNA, okay? A lot of the African people. And I'm not sure about other races. I studied my own race, so I'm sorry. I'm not racist or anything. I just studied my own origins. So I do know that a lot of black people have Andromedan and Syrian, possibly DNA. They did a lot of um, genetic manipulation and stuff um, back in the day and stuff. So guys, I'm going to end it here. Um, just feel free to email me for more questions on my website.